as Israelites are sons of God. Greetings, I'm Ben Oni Haran, the restorer of paths to dwell. This is Israelites, our sons of God. Open and cry, Jeremiah 31 and 1. At the same time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all families of Israel and they shall be my people. Huh. I'm going to be reading from my Bible these scriptures. So it would be a little difference in the wording. But the meaning will still be the same. Let's go to 1 John 3, 1 through 8. Behold, what manner of love our Father has bestowed upon us that we shall be called sons of God. Therefore the world knows us not because he knew him not. Beloved, now we are the sons of God and it does not appear that we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has hope in him purifies himself, even he is pure. Whoever commits sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whoever abides in him sins not. Whoever sins has not seen him, neither know him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the sons of God were manifested that they may destroy the works of the devil. Let's go to Romans 8, 14 through 17. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be, that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. We are sons of God, joint heirs with the Israelite Jesus. Let's go to Psalms 82, 6 and 7. I have said, you are gods, and all of you children are of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one prince. Arise, O God, Judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. Let's go to John 10, 25 through 38. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in Abba Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe not, because you are, are not of my sheep, and I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Abba Father, which gave them to me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of Abba Father's hand. I and Abba Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown you from Abba Father, for which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered, saying, For a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy. And because you, being a man, makes yourself God. Jesus answered them, 
Is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. So it's no difference between Jesus being a God and us being God. We're the same. If you call them gods unto whom the word of God came, then the scripture cannot be broken. Say you of him whom our Father has sanctified and sent into the world, you blasphemies, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of our Father, believe me not. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that Abba Father is in me and I in him. Abba is in the Israelite Jesus and Abba Father is in you also. And you must be in Abba. But the creep still reigns on earth. Now it's up to Abba's Israelites to bury the creep or Abba Father will come and destroy him and you because he lives in you. Call the creep out of you and anybody or anything you see it possessing. For what purpose? To bury the creep and receive everlasting life here on earth. Inherit all nations through good works, righteousness, faith, peace, repentance, charity, and patience. Israelites are the chosen holy people of Abba Father and must be God-like on earth. Let's go to Deuteronomy 7, 6 through 9. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep his oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh the king of Egypt? You know therefore that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, which keeps his covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Abba Father put everything you need to live forever right here on earth. So we don't need to explore outer space. Just protect earth from invading forces. Then use that budget to save the world from war, global warming, famine, and pestilence. In other words, stop the four horsemen. Seek the seven spirits. Keep the Ten Commandments. Live with peace, faith, charity, and righteousness. Please read IsraelitesAdoption.org 028 Abba Dwells in You 029 Abba's People 038 Remnant Saved Closing Cry Isaiah 45 17 and 18 but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed or confounded world without end. For thus says the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He has established it. He created not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord. And there is none else. Thank you. Israelites are sons of God.